Hello and welcome to this uh, unboxing video. Uh, that's not normally the sort of thing I do, but me and Miles have got ourselves uh, Space Hulk, the new edition, and we thought it'd be interesting to just show you guys what's in the box and generally talk it through. So, first of all, we have a poster, looking pretty badass there, some nice Blood Angels Terminators, and then there should be a second one underneath, right? Yep, should be. You get these if you pre-order it from Games Workshop, because it says, just a little something special. To say thank you. Oh no, perhaps it isn't. It is very thick. It's very oh, all right, thick. okay. We thought that was the second one underneath with Gene Steelers. But anyway, this is the new box. I don't know how different it is from the old one because this is the uh, the first one these I've had. But uh, man versus alien <laughs> in a desperate battle. <laughs> Should we uh, turn over and have a look at the back? It's the back. So as you can see, uh, I believe we'll, have, we'll show you the models in a second, but. These are the same ones as the 2009 edition, am I right? The new, yeah, uh, the same models, there's pretty much the same stuff, but I think there's new objectives and new rules and things to Okay, play. well let's open this bad boy up. So uh, we've now opened it up and as you can see these are all the Gene Steeler Spruce. Uh, loads of different types of Gene Steelers you can get there. You can get ones like this guy who's sort of hanging down from a light and then there's sort of one sort of bursting up through the ground and they've got these sort of elaborate bases like this one here which is sort of like a pile of skulls and debris and all that kind of stuff um, my personal favourite has to be this guy um, it's difficult to see because it's still on the sprue but he's like hanging down off this it looks really cool um, and then over here you get the uh, blood angels, the terminators and like I say these are the sort of classic ones you know you've got the guy with the, the dual uh, lightning claws pointing out there. You got this guy who's holding like a Gene Steeler skull with the spine still attached, and uh, the librarian. The librarian over there. Uh, he's got his force axe and all that shenanigans. So that is it for the models. Um, obviously, ideally, we'd uh, unpack these and uh, you know assemble them, show you all that stuff. But uh, <laughs> we'll leave that for now because these are the same models as the old edition of Space Hulk. So. Uh, Price-wise, if you're looking at buying, say, because this is 11 Terminators, so you're looking at, what, 50 quid there anyway. Yeah. And there's, well, there's over a dozen, there's about two dozen Gene Steelers, so, you know, that's another 40 to 50 quid. So yeah. for 75 pounds, you get very nice models. Am I right in saying this is already sold out, though, this sold out instantly? Uh, pretty much within three days, sold out. I ordered it within, like, 10 minutes of it coming online. Yeah. Um... But then I guess the other thing well is there's some uh, niche little dice here with some yeah. patterns and that. You can still get it in the shops, depending on where you go. Obviously a lot of them are going to sold out. Independent stockists are generally the best place to get them, but they generally only get like three copies. So I know a couple of them and they say they just get very, very limited stocks and pretty much everything. So uh, next up we've started opening up some of the uh, sections, like here we have uh, pathways, a really nice kind of detail on all the tracks there, it's a really sort of um, glossy sort of nice feel to it as well. You know, you've got more sections there, so little details like blood spills and stuff on it, sections like that where you've got you know your doors and the breakups there, and then lastly you've got you know these kind of sets of markers, and there's uh, some more over there along with, um, I believe these are doors, yeah. yeah, so you know you've got all these sections, like I say the same text to all of them is quite a rubbery sort of tone. Very high quality and very durable. Yeah. Obviously it's you can see it's several layers of laminated. That is quite thick there if you put that yeah. next to my hand. That's why the bloody thing weighs a lot. <laughs> yeah. So uh, should we get the next set out? Yeah. So we've now pretty much got the rest of the stuff out. As you can see you've got these uh this is the mission book and uh I think as Miles said there is some new missions in here. Uh, won't show you too much because I think you can get copyright claims and stuff if we start going through that in detail but there is apparently new missions and stuff in this edition um, and then of course the Space Hulk rulebook that badass Gene Steeler on the front looking very cool and the other thing was we then went through and got out more of these and like I said I'm really impressed by the quality of these the tiles feel really nice they're really nice finish to them you know feel good in, and uh, you know you've got the whole set here all sorts of ones um, I won't go into too much detail, but as you can see, lots of different types of track and floor. Um, <laughs> it's really, really awesome stuff there. Special rooms for certain things. Yeah, special rooms. and uh, Yeah. Yeah. Also, get some free bags. Yeah, some free bags for if you wanted to, I don't know, store 
some models in them, I guess. Or yeah, it's probably easy as well. To tokens, yeah, stuff like that. So, then, um, you know, as you can see, there's quite the thick sort of layer of those uh, yeah. those cards. Well, this, what's that, three, four inches, just jam packed full. Yeah. So, you go, you get loads and loads and loads of options there, which is really, really cool. Um, and then the last thing you get sort of get is uh, this timer, um, which came in this. I mean, <laughs> am I the only one who thinks that, that could have had a better package? I don't know. But um, that's really it. And uh, oh, yeah. On the back here, you get to see all the models. So. And it actually gives you the names of each one. So. Yeah, Sergeant Lorenzo is the classic. <laughs> Everyone knows Sergeant Lorenzo. Um, so, yeah, it's really cool stuff there. You've got Zale, the Flamer. And, uh, yeah, that's that has to be my favourite model. Spleen um, Ripper. Yeah. <laughs> it's pulling out a Gene Stiller spine. Just really, really awesome stuff. Um, Some great names to them as well. Yeah. And then, um, oh, and the other side. Yeah, that, that cheat still is my favourite, the one who's sort of like hanging down off the, the thing. So, that's about it. So it's great artwork as well. Oh yeah, artwork in the books as well, awesome stuff. So that's, that's about it really. You get uh, this good collection of models. As we said, pretty good value for the amount of models you get, considering how much they would cost you regularly. You get some dice, you get some timer, you get millions and millions of these. Files. And Ooh. histories for all the characters. Oh yeah, so there's sort of a fluff element to the books as well. Um, and also this really awesome looking box. So um, overall, if we're going to add a product review element, are you happy with your purchase files? Very much so. You get what's yeah. on the side of the box. More hidden details, just jam-packed. I mean, like we've often sort of, I mean like if Wargamers love to complain. And uh, although it's kind of nice to have a good moan about Games Workshop uh, prices, the the product is just fantastic. You really have to give it to them. And to be honest, kits like this, I'm surely sure they make quite a bit of money on this, but at the same time, we get a great deal. We really do. I think this kind of fits everyone perfectly. Anyway, that's about it for today, guys. If you'd like to see Space Hulk feature on this channel, if you'd like to see us do some Space Hulk-style battle reports or anything like that, please comment below and let us know if you're interested. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys soon in another video. Bye for now. Right, so just continuing the review for anyone who's interested, we have now assembled, uh, you know, I haven't uh, begun painting them yet, but we've now assembled uh, the Gene Steelers and uh, the Terminators. And we just thought we'd show you what the uh, the models are for anyone curious. So this is the Broodlord, and that is huge. <laughs> like a, a Space Marine Scout model comes up to about there. <laughs> um, really, really big model. Really looks awesome, really intimidating. And then you got all the different types of gene stealers. A lot of them are sort of on, you know, these elaborate bases where they're up there like that. Like this guy, see you sort of hang down. Then you got these ones who are like bursting up through the floor. This guy's holding like a Terminator skull. And then you've got these sort of more conventional looking gene stealers. Uh, some more, you know, crazy designs. We could say these ones where they're sort of um, on Terminator armor or this, you know, these ones where they're on. These bases hanging down, this one crawling here. Some really interesting designs there. And uh, these, of course, are the Terminators. That's the librarian there. Um, the reason he hasn't got the top of his force axe is because uh, Miles is in the middle of starting to convert him. He's literally just assembled these guys. Uh, you've got the guy with the thunder hammer and the storm shield. Sergeant Lorenzo with the power sword. Uh, just regular Terminators. Um, obviously Miles is going to paint these guys up to be Deathwing, you know, of the Dark Angel chapter, which is kind of annoying because if you look, they've got like a Blood Angel sort of iconography on them, uh, but you know he can he can get around that. Um, more guys, this guy's the Flamer. Uh, this is one of my favourite models. I really love the guy pointing. It just looks awesome. I'm a big fan of people pointing. You know, the, the posing on a certain figures always looks cool to me. Uh, you got this guy as well, who's absolutely looks fantastic. Who's got this uh, gene stealer spine? You know, he's pulled out the guy's head, which looks incredible. Uh, assault cannon guy, and uh, yeah. So uh, that is about it then. Really impressive looking models.